So today, I thought we'd take a look at how to easily make candlestick charts and plots like these ones, where you can plot your own technical indicators on top of them, using matplotlib with the module MPL Finance. This is definitely the easiest way to do candlestick charts in Python that I've seen, especially with the method that I'm going to show you, integrating with Yahoo Finance in order to access their data. Okay, so let's get started. First, we'll close out of this and then we'll open up our Python file here, call it tutorial.py. Now, we want to go ahead and import quite a few things. So, we want to import Y Finance. This is the module that I'm going to be getting my data from. If you're using a CSV or some other format, that's fine too. But I'd recommend Y Finance just because they always have up to date data. Okay, so Y Finance, then we'll want Pandas. And this is just to manipulate the data frames, which is the most common format in which people store large amounts of data in Python. And then we'll also want to import MPL Finance, which is the module that we'll actually be interfacing with. So MPL Finance as MPF. All right, so that's all our importing done. Now let's go ahead and grab some financial data. So as I said, I'm gonna be using Y Finance, and that is the Yahoo Finance plugin for the Yahoo Finance API here in Python. And so we can go to any financial asset. I'm going to choose Bitcoin USD here. So you you know you search for it over here. You can search Doge USD, ETH USD, whatever you want. And then you just need to copy this symbol here, whatever it happens to be. This is the reference that you can use to grab that particular data from Yahoo Finance. So just copy that, and let's go ahead and grab it. So we'll say DF for data frame and set that equal to YF dot ticker then you want to paste your ticker in there as a string and then we want dot history we want to get all the historical candles essentially and this will get you the daily close data okay and then we want to set the time period and i'm just going to say give me all the data you've got by using period equals max and then let's print that on out to make sure that everything's working fine Okay, so the good thing about Y Finance is it gives us the data in exactly the format which we need. So we have a date time index here. We have open, high, low, and there's also close in there, you just can't see it. And they all start with capital letters at the front. So in the correct format, which MPL Finance takes in. You can look on the MPL Finance GitHub page and if we just scroll down a bit, you'll see their data is formatted exactly the same. We have this date time index here, and then we have open, high, low, close, volume formatted like that. So as long as your data frame looks like that, you should be good. If it doesn't, then you'll want to rename the columns or set your index to be date here, making sure that this is in date time format. Otherwise, something might go terribly wrong. So I'll just show you here, if we do type, and then we look at df dot index here. So we look at the data type of the index. We see that it's a date time index, so make sure that's right as well. Otherwise, you may have a bad time. Okay, but once you've done all this, like once you've ingested your data, however it is you've done it from a CSV, in order to actually get this thing to plot, all you have to do is mpf.plot, and then you just stick your data frame in there and run it. Now, obviously, I've got open, high, low, close data here for Bitcoin since 2017. It's not going to be the most readable chart in the world, but we can zoom in and see what it looks like. You might be unaccustomed to this style of chart. This is just a different way of showing the open, high, and low and close of a particular financial asset. You can change this to start using candles by just setting type here equal to candle as a string. And then when I do that, it will now start displaying things as actual candlesticks. Obviously, I have to zoom in a little bit to get to them. 
So you see how easy that is? You can make this candlestick chart in two lines of code if you ignore the imports. Now, of course, there are lots of other fancy things that we can do. So for example, we can change the type of chart again. So you can do things like a line chart here if you just want a single line for whatever reason. That's not gonna use candles. It's gonna be a single line. You can also do things like a Renko chart. I'm not entirely sure who uses these, but some people do. And so you make the graph look a little bit like this, depending on your time frame here. It just sort of simplifies it and gets you the trend, basically. You can also do things like set the volume to be true. So I'll set this back to candle. We can set volume equals true here. And if you have a volume column in your data frame, as we do, it will also plot the volume data down here on a separate chart. And that will be synchronized with your zooming here. So I can zoom right in and I can look at the volume for any given day over here. Although it might get a little bit messed up with zooming in and out. So that's why you want to predefine a date range beforehand. In order to do that, so that we don't have to keep zooming in all the time like that, what you can do is you can just say df equals df.lock for location. And then you can put a slice in here with the date times. So what I'm gonna say is I want all data from 2021, let's say the 1st of June onwards. So something like that. And that will make these things a lot clearer. You'll not get this huge warning anymore. And it'll just be a, a nice little chart that we can do things with. Okay, so how do we add stuff on top of here? Well, if you just want something simple, like a moving average, then this is actually really easy. There's just a parameter in here called MV, MAV. And you just set that equal to, for example, 10 and it will plot the moving average here, so the 10 day moving average using the close value, I believe. But what about if we want multiple moving averages? Well, you can do that as well. You can set this in a little tuple here and you can give them as, you know, three, uh, 20, so on and so forth. You can just give whatever values you want and it will plot them all on here. Now, that's great for something really simple, like a moving average. But what about if we want something a little bit more complex, something more custom? Well, you can add extra charts to the candlestick by just setting a parameter in here. And it's called add plot. And you want to set that equal to a specific list, which I'm going to show you how to define in a second. So I'm just going to call mine APDS, okay? Now let's figure out what APDS is and how to define it. So over here, let's say APDS is equal to, we'll make it an empty list here. And what you want to do is you want to call the function mpf.make underscore add plot. Now, in here is where you want to stick your data in whatever format it might be in. So I'm going to make a new column here. I'm going to say df and I'm going to call it the 50 day moving average. And I'm just going to set that equal to df and open dot rolling, just whatever indicator you feel like. I've got lots of tutorials on how to use various TA libraries, but we'll just use something simple here. So window equals 50 and then not me. So that will generate the 50 day moving average there. And then let's say I want to do something funky to it and I wanna divide it by 1.5. Okay, and now I wanna plot that on top of my chart. All I have to do is I just have to put the data frame here and select which column I want and it will add my indicator on top. You've got to be careful there to define this after you've cut the data frame, otherwise bad things might happen. And also this indicator up here will just 
add some brackets here to make sure it's dividing everything properly. Okay, there we go. So we can see we've got our fancy schmancy new indicator down here. It's just the 50 day moving average divided by 1.5. And you could use this as you know, some kind of buy or sell signal. And of course you can program various kinds of indicators. So I'll just add an extra one in here. So we'll just copy this one over and I'll just call it the MA. I'll just leave it like that. And we'll do something different here. We will, let's say we'll multiply it by 1.5. Let's say we believe the price is gonna stay within this range. And then in here, you can either do a completely new mpf.makeAddPlot and that will work fine. Or alternatively, if they're both in the same data frame, what you can do is you can just reference both of the columns just by putting them in the double square brackets like this. And that will also work just fine. So you can see here we've got this range or whatever you want to call this particular indicator. You can do much more advanced things as well. Like you can add buy and sell signals, like little triangles that show you where you enter and leave a position, like you're having back trader and that kind of thing. But those are more advanced and you can find those on the documentation. So that's a really quick introduction to the MPL finance module and how to just get up and running and create some candlestick charts very easily using data from Yahoo Finance.